Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to multiply big numbers using the distributive rule. Now, the one thing you want to think about is the distributive rule is a very uh, straightforward process, but multiplying big numbers, well, you really have a couple of things that you can think about. You can um, use your multiplication tables to make it a little easier, or whatever multiplication tricks you have to multiply the larger numbers. But you can use a calculator to help you, but you know, again, you have a wealth of uh, tools at your disposal. So here's a couple of illustrations to kind of help you out. Now, if you have, let's just say, 50 times 20x plus 10, as an illustration. When you have 50 times 20, you can think about as 5 times 2, that's going to give you 10. And then, since you have two more zeros, you just put the two zeros there, so you have 1,000x plus, and then 50 times 10, that's going to give you 500. Now, same kind of ideas if you have 50 times, oh, let's just say 30 plus 50x. 50 times 30, again, think about 5 times 3 being 15. The two zeros are there, so you know they'll be part of your answer. And then 50 times 50, same kind of idea. 5 times 5 is going to give you 25. 0 times, and then the two zeros, so you have you know it's going to be 2,500 and that's going to give you x. So whenever it comes to multiplying large numbers using the distributive rule, it's not the distributive rule that's going to be difficult, it's the large numbers that might give you pause. Again, you can use a calculator or you can use the little multiplication tricks like we've shown you here to kind of help you along the way. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's multiplying large numbers using the distributive rule.